So hi friends, hello, good evening, and welcome to another session of Tech Tablet Daily Dose with Varun Rao. So in today's session, uh, we'll just create a project, okay? And we've seen in the previous session how to create a view with HTML. We've we've seen various elements. We've bought in some images, and you know we've done some stuff. And, but in this session, we would be working on JavaScript. All right. So I would be naming this project as JS underscore YT, okay. And I would be selecting on create an initial view, all right. And I would be naming my first page as page one. And I will be developing this in the development paradigm of JavaScript, all right. So all right, I have it here. It's formed. The folders would be created. Great, so I have it. All right, so I'll just open all. I'll just see all what I have. I have an index.html file. I have a controller.js and I have a view.js. So let me just close the controller. We don't require it right now. And I have all the the same script. Everything remains just the same as we've seen in HTML. Okay, I have the libraries. I have the resources. That is SAP UI code or JavaScript. Uh, bootstrapping and then the libraries is sap.m and we have a default theme which is blue crystal and I I would also like to add another library that is sap.ui.common okay because I suppose we should be using this also ahead so yeah I thought it will be better for us to add this let me just run this also and we'll just go through the project in the meanwhile okay so now to just understand what we have done or what we're doing uh, i've just created a project on javascript okay the view would be javascript paradigm and here in this page from line number 7 to 10 we have the script commands or the script uh, code the script part of code in which you have library the theme the bootstrapping and the resources which would be loaded uh, these resources we would be able to find under the JavaScript resources folder in the project that you have created in the project explorer tab on the left of your Eclipse. All right, and we, we, we in this project or in this specific project we would not be working on controller.js because right now we are just trying to get acclimatized with the views. So let us just take and work with the views, and it's very important for all of us to understand that. It, JavaScript views or HTML either they are hardly being or they are hardly used in the real-time scenario real-time scenario moreover uses XML views all right but then it is very important for us to understand the basics and foundation and it is working on these which will make your foundation stronger because you will get introduced to a wide example of uh, API's you'll see new classes you'll see the new properties and yeah you know because everything is elaborately to be mentioned here manually it will make you a bit stronger in understanding what you're typing and where you're heading towards while you're creating and working on a project so i'm just waiting for the output to come it would be it, it can be seen here on a new window okay so here it is it's loading and i think we should, should be having it in a couple of seconds yes we have it okay so it is the title all right we've seen the title so now let us begin with uh, the coding part so i would now be deleting from here to uh, let me just check yeah from here to here i don't require this not right now at least and now that i have a content and i have you know a function controller now i'll be creating a page okay so this is the ins the, the variable okay i'll name it as o page and i let me give the thing it is sap dot m dot page with the p as capital please be very sensitive with the uh alphabets when you're typing in because they're case sensitive or else I would suggest that you go for predictive text on you can set that in your preferences okay so this would be employee lookup so 
so uh, the aim would be to create a small table we've seen how to create a table in index.html but now let us see how to create a table in javascript okay so i have created a title so let me just go to index.html refresh this and see what happens i hope we should have a different okay we are having an error now uh, in order to get this resolved we are supposed to enter a return parameter okay and we would be returning an o page okay so here i go with return okay and i would be returning o page okay now let me just refresh the same and see Yes, so I have an employee lookup here. No worries, things are going fine now. They're back on track. So now let me just begin with uh, with the creation or with the development of a table. All right. So here I begin. It would be a table. All right. So now in order to create a table, let me just start it with a variable, and it would be a table. This is what I would like to name it as, and it would be new SAP dot M dot table. We've already seen that we are using M libraries, that is mobile libraries, and we have also added another thing that is UI dot commons. But then yeah, we don't have to talk about it right now. I'm giving it an ID which would be employees and I would also give it an item press. This is how you assign an item press. Item press is an event. We are not working on an event, but then still, if you want to give an event, this is how you do it. I'm naming it as O controller and V dot item press. And this is as being assigned for O controller. Now I'll be assigning columns okay and this would now go inside a square bracket and now i shall begin my the name of the class i shall begin with the name of my class for a column it would be sap.m dot column and here it would be with the capital c all right and now sapm dot column would have its properties taken into it let me just give it a comma all right so now i would be giving my first column uh, the some properties firstly i would be giving it a width and the width would be 1 em but followed by a comma because i'm giving another property that would be the name of the column and here I have to enter a text so it would be sap dot m dot label and this label should have text as a property because I have to give this header a name all right and hence I would be taking a text and it would be employee number all right or employee id or yeah you have some you know verification number for each and every employee so this is that friends and now i would be i would just check if you know it's working fine till here uh, uh because you know it's important for me to see if my output is fine or not so firstly i'll have to close this okay because this is where my table is getting closed and now I'll have to add content because if I'm not adding the content, then there's no page, there's no use of it. So it would be o page dot add content with the C capital and it would be added to o table. Closing this also and saving this index refresh. Okay, I don't have an output right now, which means that there is still something which is to be done. Okay, let me just, okay, the name O page is fine. The name 
or table is also fine. I've given an sap.m.label. Okay, I think it's because of the comma. So now that we've somehow come here, let me just add another few columns before we make some changes. Okay, now I have added a few more things and let me just rename some of these. Okay, employee number is the first. Employee name. Employee address. And here I would be giving an employee designation. Okay, so saving this. I'm not having a comma here uh, people because here well, it's ending and there is any which way is no other column so i don't have to give a column here i have given a return parameter and this return is for o page okay and i have added this o page and i have done this add content with the c okay the c here is supposed to be in capital okay add content to the table and it is o table now let me just refresh this and see Alright guys, so we have a table created here and let me just give you a small uh, review again. I've created a page with the sapm.page and the title is employee lookup. I've created the instance of a variable with sapm.table as its class and I've taken some more properties of a table like id, item press, uh, item, item press is an event though and I have columns and here I've created four columns for it with width and header and the text of header as their properties and i have added them with o page add content i have added the o table to the o page and i have given o page as a return parameter so i hope you have understood this and in the next session we'll just go a bit more uh, you know further and we'll just work on another js view probably a bit easier one uh, on the same one let us create a small you know element another element and let's do it a bit further and then we'll proceed with xml views and yeah we'll just keep going further as discussed so i hope you've learned something new thanks a lot for watching and i hope you would have a great day and a great learning ahead thank you all for watching and do subscribe and do share if you find this useful and yeah thank you all the best